This is the old Craig Mill in Lynn Glen, close to the Lynn Spout on the Calf Water. There was a water mill down here, and at one time a lane ran up to it. Hard to believe now with the steepness of the bank how there could be a lane there. Although in those days it may have been more a matter of horses carrying panniers than it would be a cart. All that remains now that's clearly visible is the old gable end. Its end sadly hastened by this large beech tree. This also had the, the splash wall. That is, this is the wall that the water wheel ran on. In fact, a few years back, you could still see the hole through which the axle from the water wheel ran. Now, the water supply, rather amazingly, ran along this bank here. Still, you think that the Lynn spout has been cutting itself back, because it's only limestone, that at one time, the Lynn spout was much further forward, and there would be enough of ground for a watercourse, a lade, to run down to this mill. But it's quite likely that the mill was abandoned because the water supply was cut off. It would be too complicated to restore it. Now there's another mill located upstream, just where those steps are, and that mill didn't have the same problems. Its lade runs much further upriver. There's no danger of being cut off. This is the upper Craig Mill within Lynn Glen. Here's the calf water again. You can see from the high quality worked stone here, well, this is the splash wall against which the water wheel would have run. You can also make more stonework running back into the distance where the old mill stood above here. Later in its life, it was converted into a water pump for the local farm. At which point, this laid here, this was the exit for the water as well. A brick wall was constructed with quite a strong metal plate roof. And inside there was a water wheel, a small one, and that was working a pump and pumping water up. This is the course of the old lade or leet that carried the water down towards the mill. The water pump to replace the old mill is just down in the distance. So this lade ran for some fair, fairly considerable distance upriver. Get ahead of water, there'd be a sluice up there so that water could be directed in and the actual flow controlled.